Hello and welcome back to another uh, video with the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel. Today on this video I'm going to do a revelation and it is a part four to three other revelations we did entitled God Honors. Okay, God Honors. And the Holy Spirit led me over to Psalm 15 to begin with this revelation. It starts with, this psalm is written by David. He says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Or who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walks uprightly and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. He that backbites not with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned. But he honors them that fear the Lord. Okay, God honors those that fears him, for he that swears to his own hurt and changes not. He that puts not out his money to usury, nor takes reward against the innocent. For he that does these things shall never be moved, and God shall honor that individual. So after uh, the Holy Spirit led me to this particular reading, uh, we're going to do an elaboration, of course, on uh, verse 4, and uh, take our reading over to the book of Esther. Okay, Esther, God honors them that fear him. And this is a revelation about how God honors. Okay, so let's go to Esther chapter 3. And this is the story of uh, Mordecai and Esther. And Esther, let's see here. Chapter 3. Esther chapter 3. And now we've often uh, heard the story of Esther and Mordecai uh, and uh, different revelations came and does come from many of the books and of course out of this one also. But today's revelation is going to be in reference to God honors and in this particular uh chapter, chapter 3, we see that Mordecai was to honor an individual named Haman. And Haman or Haman, however you would prefer to pronounce it, ha but this uh, Haman individual uh, was a, that of an individual who did not like the Jews. And so since Mordecai was of the Jews and so was Esther, uh, the individual was really in opposition to both of them, okay? And so therefore, when he became uh, an individual that was a part of the king's, uh, I guess you could say, entourage, uh, Mordecai refused to bow down to him and reverence him, okay? So let's start with uh, chapter 3. It says, After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamadathea, the Agagite, and advance him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. So there we can see that uh, he was exalted. And so in all the king's servants that were in the king's gate, they began to bow down to him and reverence him. For the king had so commanded concerning him. But however, Mordecai did not bow, nor did he reverence him. Then the king's servants, which were in the king's gate, said unto Mordecai, Why are you transgressing thou the king's commandment? And now it came to pass when they spoke daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matters would stand, for he had told them that he was a Jew. And when Haman, say, when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did he reverence him, then was Haman full of wrath. Okay, And so we see here, because he didn't bow down to him, that individual, he was very much full of wrath. He was very angry. And it says, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of the Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. So see how, because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to this individual, that he uh, then uh, began to go forward 
and plot and plan to kill him, basically. And um, as he plotted and planned and killed to wanted to arrange for his death, it became, instead of Mordecai's death, it, be, it became his own death, okay? It became the death of Haman because therefore God honored Mordecai over Haman because Haman was of a different nationality he would, and he did not serve the almighty God of heaven, okay? But Mordecai did and by him not buying, bowing down to his presence, that reflected his standpoint with God, okay? And so therefore God honored him in doing that. And, and how he did honor him was in saving his life, okay? Because again, because Mordecai did not bow down to Haman, Haman began to plan a secret death for him, for him to uh, be killed. But nevertheless, instead of Mordecai being killed, Haman was killed in that same death that he had planned for Mordecai. And therefore, that's how God honored Mordecai over that individual, Haman. Okay, so and then taking a look at another story in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, similar uh, similar plot because Daniel would not bow down to the golden image and therefore he was thrown into the fiery furnace, <laughs> the fiery furnace, and uh, they turned the fire up seven times higher than what it was and that's over in Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3, and uh, so they turned the fire up higher than normal because he would not, and they wanted to uh, burn the Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego because they would not serve the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had placed for them to bow down to. But those three refused to bow down to it, and so therefore, since they refused to bow down, they were placed into the fiery furnace. And while they were in the fiery furnace, God showed up to help them out of the furnace because, again, they didn't bow down to the idol of idol God that they had placed image, the idol image, the idol God, whatever they wanted uh, them to bow down to, they refused to bow down to that because that would then take the reverence from God over unto what they wanted him to and them to bow down to and that's not what God wants us to do but in reflection of them not doing it God did honor them by being in there in there with them with the fiery furnace and then bringing them out with no burning done to them at all okay deliver them out of it basically out of the fiery furnace so that story we've heard and read many times that's chapter three and four in the book of Daniel three four five the whole book and actually starting starting with chapter three because that was when they had the golden image placed up for everyone to bow down to and that's when uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said they weren't bowing down to it okay so in reflection of them not bowing down God honored them with deliverance hallelujah all right because he does honor many ways Okay, so Proverbs 15 and verse 33 was another scripture that I was led. It's Proverbs 15, 33. Because we did have Psalm 15, but we have Proverbs 15 uh, with this one to reflect on. And that's going to be verse 33 where he says here that the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility, okay? Before honor is humility. So there is an honor that is uh, the Heavenly Father's honor that is much more different than man's honor, okay? And then how an individual is honored from the kingdom of God and how he does that. And with each one of these different um, stories that we just read, 
from the story of Daniel, how God honored him, Meshach and uh, all those that were with him in the fiery furnace. He honored them by being in there with them, showing up, showing out, and then delivering them. Okay, with Esther, he honored Mordecai by uh, returning the uh, plot that Haman had basically had set up for Mordecai to be killed. Instead of Mordecai being killed, the individual Haman was killed. Okay, so therefore God honored him in returning retribution and uh, vindication toward his enemy. Hallelujah. And that's what the Lord does. Hallelujah. And thank you for Heavenly Father in the mighty name of Christ Jesus for your honoring. Okay. All right. So that is going to bring me to the end of the uh, Revelation God Honors Part 4. God bless you. And I will see you on our next Bible study video channel as we continue to go forward with the Feed My Sheep Foundation video channel.